confirmed he was at Floyd's Barbershop in Ashburn. And I'm telling shave. you, that is in response <laughs> so to the social media trolling <laughs> of the picture of him walking the dog. Because all everybody said was, my God, he, he looks, looks awful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was wearing the Redskins gear then, right? Like yeah. The Redskins yeah. sweatpants, the Redskins sweatshirt. And he was wearing the same getup at Whole Foods. Right. Had to be the same day, yeah. I would assume. So we do have that picture on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash well, the jumps. The Floyd's is right next to the Whole Foods. Okay. I mean, he's just right all he's doing is uh, running errands and walking his dog. So he could have gone from walking the dog yeah. straight to Floyd's, got the shave, and yes. then went to Whole Foods. Sure. Whole right. Foods has some great meatballs. Well, we by know the way. he's not going to work. And I just want to formally throw this out there. I know that it won't happen. The junkies would like to invite Scott McLuhan to join us in studio or on the phone for an interview. <laughs> well, of course. That's the funniest thing I've heard all week. Yeah. At I mean, some point, he's going to have to have a tell He's going to sign a non-commit or non-whatever it's called. Disclosure. Disclosure. Probably. Before they, before they get, pay him off the rest of his money. So or we won't be able I'm to Scott do it. McClellan, I just start showing up to work. Well, if he just shows just up, knock just, on the door. <laughs> that's all what I do at the combine. I just show up with the brief. It's a good bit. I like it. It's like that's like a George Costanza bit where he goes, where he says, "I quit," and then just shows up the next day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just to like all the reporters, you know, Brian McNally wouldn't know what to do with himself. Just show up at the briefcase. Like, what would happen if he walked into Redskins Park right now? Would he? Would they call security on Scott probably, McLuhan? Probably. They would probably call security to have him escorted out of what the building. Probably, up, yeah. What if he showed up with the big, like one of those big chalkboards? What, yeah. <laughs> and it says, "My board, yeah, my, my silly board." Yeah, it is he board. And he says, here's my foobar list. Guys, wheel, I won't draft. He wheels in his board. Okay. Oh, That'd be a great man. bet. Can I get a 50% buyout of that war room bet that we made yesterday? You want so, two coins? 50 cents? No, 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 50%. $10. What did you bet? I you bet a dollar. Simpleton, we bet $1. You oh, want yeah. 50 that cents off? Yeah, what, you, you should have said, said yes. 20. You should have said yes. You know what? I should've like the draft. Yeah, yeah. We bet a dollar. Oh. Yeah, it was a dollar bet. So don't take the bet. Did you see my tweet last night? I said I would take 100 pennies. I would take 20 nickels, mm. two half dollars, whatever. Uh, Grab, do you think that. he's going to be in the war room? Uh, I'm, start, I'm starting to lean the other way now. <laughs> I'm starting to lean. <laughs> Finally. He got that shave to prepare for his next job interview. Yeah. Man, that is so funny. He got joned on on social media, and he went right to the barber. That is hilarious. You'll, hey, see, we, you'll see Hulk Hogan in the war room before hey, Scott McClure. 106.7 The Fan's been hiring a lot of cast-offs from uh, Dan, <laughs> some of Dan Snyder's businesses lately. Maybe Scott hey, McClure is the what? next... Why don't we have a barber come in studio and we offer any former Redskins or Redskins uh, staff free shaves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... I want to do something. I want to beat, like, beat like a Bruce Allen pinata or... I know it's hacky and we've done it before, but like light gear on fire and that sort of thing. A dumpster fire. Have a dumpster we hold, fire. We have a and everybody bring in, the fan dumpster fire. Everybody, all fans just come in and throw their skins gear in there. Yeah, yeah or so hacky, but. And I really don't want to part with some of my stuff. Maybe. Oh, I just, you can you can secretly keep that stuff, but like if you have like um, old T-shirt, old jacket, if you have like a I starter jacket. Have. <laughs> Actually, have. you can take your Brian Arakpo fat head. I'll go to Marshalls and buy ten dollar RG three jerseys. Yeah, do that and throw those in. I, I do. Have, I really don't want to burn my stuff. I do have a fat head that I never used. I think it's a, I think it's a Ryan Kerrigan fat head. There's, there's a quite bit sure. here somewhere. Yes. Uh, let's go to the phones. It. People on the way in. Is. We've got Bill Raftery <clears throat> joining us to talk some college hoops at nine forty. Don't throw them in a dumpster fire, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh, it's hot here, man. Right, what are we right, doing right. out here? It's so hot here. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Joe. Joe's gonna try. He's gonna say something here that I tried to do, and I failed. Joe, what's up? There's so many. What's things. up, fellas? I, what's up? That I, I failed. I'm, I'm basically just done. Coaching. I mean, I'm, I'm over the fact that the Redskins, you know, every year is same old stuff, man. I mean, can't we just? I mean, I'm not. I'm not upset that we lost a, a crybaby receiver and a, a receiver that takes half the plays off. I'm just upset that we suck as a <laughs> franchise, man, and that we can't get anything right. They can't do anything, man. Uh, what? What? When? When is it going to change? I mean, when? When can we actually hang our hat on something that we can be proud of around here? Back to back winning the, seasons. <laughs> yeah, back to back winning. Say, JP, come on, man. I'm being come facetious. On. Yeah, I know, but can we just actually have something that we can grow and feel confident about building? I mean, it's just a joke, man. I either want to be, you know, like you said, EB, either we go south and I'm going to go to Carolina 
or we go north and I'm going to go to Baltimore. So, I mean, come on, man. I tried. You're never going to win. I tried. I actually bought a Ravens sweatshirt. You did? I bought a Marshalls. (laughs) Believe me, I didn't pay full. 15 bucks. When was this? It's definitely made by like Coliseum. 10 years ago or so, but I couldn't even wear it. Maybe just, you just yeah, gotta, you can't. I mean, I couldn't even. If you're wear a true it. fan, you can't do. That. I can't do it. I tried to quit him. But if you have yeah. a favorite player, you could follow him. Like when Kirk leaves and becomes <laughs> the not quarterback for the Houston player. Texans next He's season. He's a nerd. I don't. I mean, I'm whatever. just throwing out a, the scenario for the the previous guy. I don't. I, I think it's hard to just go Baltimore Ravens. But if you had a guy like. Let's say you were a Pierre Garçon guy. You love Pierre, then you just root for him in San Francisco. Well, let's be honest. Who just loves Pierre? Right. I, I mean, he's a good player. I'm sure his family does. 